Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you three builds in one video and the reason for that is because they are very small. I decided to make three small, kind of unique, easy to blueprint and move, well easy-ish <laughs> to blueprint and move builds. Um, obviously blueprinting is flawed and you may not be able to move them, but chances are you're more likely to be able to move these than something larger. Anyway, so that's the plan. And I have tested each one of these and each one is movable. I have blueprinted each one and successfully moved them and sometimes not successfully moved them. It, <laughs> it's just really kind of up to chance it seems but anyways I am going to give you a tour of each one in a row first and then I will show you how to build each one and I will leave timestamps on the screen or in the description probably I'll put them in the description yeah I'll put them in both on the screen and in the description for each one so that you can skip to the part where I build that one if you don't want to watch the entire tour session here in a row. So first off, I've got this one now. This is a square and I tend to try to avoid just like boring square buildings, but I don't think it's just a normal square. It's open on one side. It has support beams and I don't know, it's a little bit more unique than just a, a simple square building with a flat roof. I mean, it does have a flat roof, obviously, but anyways, I think it looks a little bit more interesting and that's why I like it. That was my goal for these builds was to make them just a little bit more interesting than your average, you know, two by two shack. So here we go. I'll give you a quick tour um, because, you know, it's small. You only get a quick tour. <laughs> So out here we have the outside area. We've got the work, the work area, basically. All the crafting workbenches, except for the uh, power armor bench. I don't, um, I didn't want to incorporate that into these small builds because they're so small, but you guys can put one in, obviously, if you want to. One would probably fit right there. <clears throat> anyway, in here we got um, the living quarters. A bed, some furniture, a little kitchen area, and that is basically it. Now this uh, building is, well, you can blueprint the entire building plus all of the workbenches and most of the furniture without any trouble. There are a few decorations that I have up here that won't be included in the blueprint because um, the blueprint budget is too small. Like uh, I couldn't include um, you know, one or two. I think there were only two decorations that I have up that would not be included. Maybe, maybe three or four. I can't remember. But um, you know, if you start blueprinting by doing the building first, then your workbenches, and then your um, lights, and work your way from highest priority to lowest priority in items then you're, you'll, be, you'll be sure to get the things that you really want and need in your blueprint and then not have to redo it if you find out you ran out of room. So yeah, and obviously if you want to include every single thing in it, yeah, you might, want, might, might not want to use all of these decorations that I used, but I just mostly did it for show, for the tour. <laughs> Anyways, now we do have this ladder on the back or stairs, whatever, because I used upper floors and upper floors won't go anywhere except attaching to a stair. Um, now the reason I used upper floors was because the, these beams won't snap to roof pieces and they won't snap to foundation pieces either. They only snap to upper floors for some dumb reason. Don't ask me why. Um, so I wanted the beams because it looks cool and it looks more you know real <laughs> so unfortunately we have to have this back here now I cannot tell you how many people have asked me and maybe they don't play Fallout 76 I mean they must not play it or they must not have ever built anything in the game if they have played it they always ask me why can't you just take the stairs off after you put the floors on well obviously I would if I could <laughs> because I don't really want this to be back here abs doing absolutely nothing um, but you can't. Um, 
If you haven't played this game before, you cannot take the stairs off after you've placed the floors down. The floors will not exist without the stairs. So, um, there you go. It's on there. But if you put another room up there, like for a generator room or something, and then the stairs could go up to that, and then they will serve a better purpose. But for now, there you go. I put them on the back so you can't see them normally, and... I think it's fine. I mean, I don't mind it. I I think it's a nice... It's it's an okay sacrifice for having pillars in the front. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that's that build. And I'm not sure what to call this. I call it the half-open house. It's half open and half closed. So <laughs> anyway, the next one is this one. And I call this the lean-to house because it's kind of leaning against itself. You know what I mean? I don't know. Kind of looks like a lean-to a little bit. And um, the same principle applies here. I've got a covered front porch. And I just noticed that my boards are facing opposite directions. Oh my gosh, it's going to annoy me so much. <laughs> anyway, same principle applies here with the covered porch. You have to have stairs going off the back. <laughs> but there you go. Now, this one, the same way, um, if uh, this one, I can actually blueprint the entire thing, even all the decorations, except this pot. That was my least priority decoration. Um, but the rest of it was completely blueprinted. I was able to blueprint every single other thing besides that pot. This, this build is tight. Um, obviously, we've got all of the workbenches in here, except for the, you know, um, power armor one. But got the, yeah, got all the workbenches, got a bunch of stash boxes, place to sleep, and some decorations. Um, got a nice lofty room, uh, not, uh, not room, but tall ceiling with windows. I put windows all the way around to bring in the light and make it airy in here and feel bigger than it is. And I think it actually works quite, quite nicely. Um, I have to have a board going across the top here from the stairs out to the front porch. Um, I don't know. I can pretend that that's a storage space up there. That's, that's, just do that. Pretend that's a storage space. <laughs> Anyway, I, I really like this one, actually. I think I might use this one as my uh, movable camp between between bills. I really liked it. Um, and I like the front porch, and I got the cooking pot on the front porch there. And I don't know, I just really kind of like the way it looks. It just looks like a little shanty house, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I like how it turned out. Anyways, my next one is this. And I'm not sure quite what to call this. I, I call it my stilt house, I guess. It's a stilt house. It's on stilts. And um, I actually got ideas for all of these um, from pictures on Pinterest. Pinterest has been my friend lately, providing me with a lot of inspiration. So I'm really, really uh, thankful for that. Um, yeah, so it's got, you know, just a... Little walkway back here, a front porch, and the inside of this one is similar to the one, the the, uh, the lean to house. It's got, um, you know, a place to sleep inside, decorations on the walls. It's a little different. I decorated it a little different just to make it a little bit more unique. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice though. I like this one a lot as well. And um, this one. I think it can be entirely blueprinted. However, I would recommend not blueprinting the pillars underneath, the support pillars. Um, well, you can blueprint these two that's, that are coming down off of this foundation, or coming up from it. Um, but don't blueprint the ones that are out here. That Because that if you do, it'll make it a lot harder to place down. So just leave those off. And then it will place down very easily. This one is actually the easiest one to place if you take the pillars off, because then you only have this one foundation piece to make room for. The rest is floating. And then, after you've placed it down, you can add the pillars back. 
Um, that's how I found it. And, you know, adding the pillars back is really easy and quick to do. So it's not a big deal. And I just can't stand floating houses. I know people make, I see them all the time in the game. Um, they put one foundation down and then they just build stairs going up and up and all these little floating rooms up there with no pillars supporting them. And they do it for ease of moving the camp to different locations, but it looks dumb. Sorry, I just, I can't stand it. <laughs> it's my personal preference. So on the pillars go. Anyway, those are my three easy to blueprint, easy to move camps. And um, now I can't guarantee that these will be movable for you. Um, it all really depends on the location that you move them to. I was able to move each of these um, easily at least one or two times in my testing of them. And each of them was also not movable at least one or two times. So, you know, it really depends on your location. I tried each of them in multiple locations. Sometimes it was successful and sometimes it wasn't. But yeah, like I said before, the, the smaller your camp um, footprint, the more likely you will be able to move it later. Anyways, you guys, now let's get on to building these things. All right, now I actually forgot to show you guys where this location was. If you would like to know, I am right here next to the anchor farm, right above Vault 76. Very easy to find. Um, now the anchor farm is that location where they used to have on the um, on the old menu screen before they changed it to the new one. Um, it had the picture of the farmhouse with the airplane in front of it. It's that place, yeah. So that's where we are and we're just above it and there's this big flat area here. There's actually quite a lot of flat ground here. Um, so it's a really good place to build. Um, over here, just, just in case you're curious, there's actually a really cool little pond and there's some beehives here. So it's a good place to come and get honey if you need any. And also there's, you could put a water purifier in there if you built up in this area over here. Um, I've built be over in this area before other builds, uh, you know, ones I didn't do videos for. But anyway, I'm using this spot down here because it was big and flat for my my three houses that I was building. Okay, let's build the first one. Now, um, we are, okay, we are going to start with the floors, obviously. So now this one is going to be two by three. Let me see. Um, um, is that right here? It doesn't really matter where I'm putting them because this isn't the location where I want to keep it. And um, yeah, since these are built, these are movable camps, um, I'm not going to try to place them in any particular spot because it really doesn't matter if you're going to move it. You guys can place these anywhere you want. They don't incorporate the train in any way and they don't need to be lined up in any specific way. So there you go. Two by three. And again, these these are extremely simple builds. You could probably figure them out just by looking at them in, during the tour. Um, we're going to put walls across the back and across both sides, or well, just one the one side. So fully across two sides, plus partially on that side and partially on this side, leaving the entire rest of it open like so and then just put in a wall there and a door there <laughs> it's so quick and easy and then <coughs> excuse me and then we'll put um, a floor back here and you can put it you know anywhere it doesn't have to be in the middle it could be back here on the side wherever you'd like to put it and then get some stairs, put it so that it's um, going up against the house, and then um, go back to floors, and we'll put an upper floor on here. And sometimes you might have to remove the wall um, that the stairs are attaching to, 
uh, sometimes the floor won't go in, but this time it's uh, this time it is. So if if it won't go in, that's why the the wall might be in the way. So just take the wall out temporarily, and you should be good to go. Fill this in completely. Come on, there you go. All right, and there we go. And then we're going to put in the pillars and we'll do the trick where you can put the pillars on the exact corner and if you have not seen any of my other videos and haven't seen me do this before just get a flat um not a flat sorry uh half size floor it can be a full size one too but i like to use half size ones um it's a little easier to differentiate between your roof and your temporary piece here the uh pillars will snap to the middle of a floor piece but not to the exact corners so we need to put in put it like that it'll snap to the middle of the small piece and then you can take that off over here and it's on the exact corner and I just love it <laughs> put the other one the exact corner between the two others and then you can remove that permanently and there you have it oh my i'm losing my daylight already i forgot to switch servers before i started recording my builds oh. <laughs> anyways um then you can put stairs down here um i do it just as for aesthetic purposes but again if you were going to blueprint this and move it later i would not blueprint the steps because it does make it a little bit harder to place down later um, they're easy to add once you place it down if you want them, or you can leave them off because you really don't need them. You can just walk up the, you know, the foundation without the stairs. And then, um, you know, you can use whatever door you wanted. I like to use the little red door just because it gives a little bit um, pop of color in there not make everything the same color you know um, for this particular build I used the little shack door because I think these house doors are just a little bit too fancy I mean there's a red one there's a green one there's a blue one there's a pop of color there but I just feel like they don't fit with this build you know what I mean anyway there you guys that is basically it you know quick easy to put together and you can decorate it however you want you can put your uh, workbenches in whatever configuration that suits you. Alright, now let's move on to the next one, but first I need to switch servers so I don't lose my daylight. Alright, nine servers later I finally found one where it was morning. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into this. Alright, so the next one is going to be four by four Oh, not four by four, sorry. Four squares, but two by two. And um, with one sticking out the back for this for the uh, required little extra stair piece. So there we go. And it's going to be extremely simple, just like the other one. Only a little bit more complicated than the other one. Alright, so now this one's going to have quite a few windows. So most of the walls are going to have windows on them. Uh, this one will have a window. Oh no, now I'm going to get some server lag. <laughs> Great. This one will have a window, but the others, I think I would like them to be solid. Um, we're going to have most of the windows up above. Alright. So then... Um, we're going to go down to the short floor and put, um, oh, actually, I should make that a window. Because, yeah, like I said, all these up here are going to be windows. I accidentally placed the wrong one. Windows all around. Maybe not right there, though, because this um, area is going to be, um, well, one doesn't go there anyways. What we want here is this. These there, one of these there, and then uh, one up top of this, facing that way, and one up top here, facing that way. 
So I'll go out and get a better look so you guys can see what that's supposed to look like. Got it? <laughs> okay. And then uh, we're going to put the roof. So I'm going to get a lot of bloom from the sunlight here. It's making it kind of a little bit difficult to see. Put a roof piece there, a slanted one, a slanted roof piece there, and a slanted roof piece there. And then up here, we are going to put another window, like so. So we got. See it? Okay. Just make sure you guys are following along. All right. Now, if you want to keep it simple, you can just leave it like that. You don't have to put the front porch on it, but, I mean, you know, the, the front porch roof, I should say. Because then that would eliminate the need for the extra little stair thingy in the back. But, you know, I don't know. I just love the look of covered porches. It's just, like, this little preference of mine. It just... Ugh. I mean, non-covered porches are fine. Just, they're just not as nice. <laughs> So, you know, do what you like. Alright, so then let's get a floor to put up here. And like I said in the other build before, you might have to take a wall off temporarily in order to get the floor uh, to go on. And in this case, it looks like we will need to do that. Ugh, probably need to take off this one as well. It's annoying, but whatever. You do what you have to do to make it work. Alrighty. There we go. And once that's on, you can uh, put the floors out here. Uh, whoops. Just fine. And uh, make sure they're facing the same way. I am somehow overlooked the fact that mine were different the first time I built this thing. <laughs> and then um, we'll do the corner posts again with the uh, trusty technique. Move it down. What am I tripping on? Ah, there's a log there. And then a step. And um, like I said before, you might want to not build the step if you're planning on moving this. Or at least don't blueprint the step when you blueprint this house. Because it will prevent you from placing it down. Maybe not. I mean, it might place down with the step, but your chances are higher if it's not there. So just keep that in mind. And for this house, um, I used, no, what did I use? I used the store, I believe. Yeah, there you go. And that's it, everybody. That is the build all finished. Don't you just love how quick and easy it is to make this thing? Yeah, so then again, you can decorate the inside however you like any configuration that you like. You can actually fit a lot inside these houses, more than you'd think. And it's also fun because it's such a small space, you can decorate them a lot. And they, you fit a lot of decorations in. It looks crowded because it's small. And so it feels, I don't know, it just feels more decorated with hardly any decoration. If you put the same amount of decoration in a big room, it feels empty, but with these small rooms, it feels crowded. And I like highly decorated, uh, packed rooms. Anyway, so let's do the next one. The stilt house. So the stilt house, you only need one foundation piece. And, um, I'm gonna make these trees, this tree and rock bulldoze away. I didn't the first time I built it. It was in the way. The tree was in the way and I had to put a, a stalk of corn right there in it to make it go away. Anyway, um, put this down as low as it'll go in your particular location. That's as low as it'll go right here. And then get some stairs. 
and put them like this. Or you can put them um, out like that and have a little deck porch thingy down here, but um, you know, you can do it however you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm doing mine this way. And then we are going to put four floors up here. All facing the same direction. Come on, get up there. There you go. Four big floors. You can do it. I like to try to convince my build pieces to work for me. It usually doesn't uh, work. <sighs> Either I'm not very charismatic or they are just stubborn. <laughs> then I'm going to use um, one of these sort of more scrappy looking floor pieces up here. Uh, maybe maybe a solid one as well, just to make it a little bit different. So we got four big floor pieces and two half floors. All right. And for this build, I used wood. Uh, you can use whatever kind that you want. I just wanted to, you know, not make all of them the same. I used um, the warehouse pieces for both of those, so I thought maybe I'd use wood for this one. Um, anyway, I put a little window there, and yeah, I can't remember my window configuration, but it doesn't really matter. You can put windows here, there, or everywhere, whatever you want. I, I usually like to have a window on each side of the house, so I can look out and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, you can uh, do whatever. I think I'll have a solid wall right there, though. And just because. Okay, there we go. And then, for up here, I'm going to have... Oh, for up here, I actually used the warehouse windows. Whoa, wow, it just suddenly got foggy. And I'm losing my light. Okay, let me turn on my pit boy so you can see what I'm doing. I put these windows up here because the uh, wood pieces um, don't have windows in their half walls for some reason. So I use the metal ones. And, you know, <laughs> maybe it might look better if I did the entire thing metal, but I don't know. So I kind of do like the contrast. Um, and then put these things up here like that and one on the other side like this and the roof there we go easy peasy I'm gonna go over to defenses and scroll down for the railings and put the big railing all the way around Okay, that takes care of the house. And then, um, for the, the pillars, so now if you wanted to move this, then go ahead and blueprint it like that. Sorry for the weather, you guys. Boy, it's so hard to make videos in this game. All right, there, new server. Sorry, that fog was just getting to be, uh, yeah, a little bit unmanageable. <laughs> All right, anyways, now for the pillars. So that, yeah, like I was saying, um, if you uh, blueprint this, don't blueprint the pillars. And then once you place it down, after you move it, um, add the pillars later because um, it really won't place with the pillars on it. I tried and yeah, it's just kind of yeah, annoying that way. Anyway, so go ahead and put, um, one there, one on each side there, and then for the rest, all right, so we need floors. Let me get the small floor again. And pillar in the corner. And I'm just going to put a pillar on each corner. And, uh, come on. Get on there. There you go. 
Now, when you're building this, make sure you don't build it too far, uh, too close to like a tree or something, or a cliff, so that you can't place your um, your little floor here to put the pillar on. I originally, when I built this, I placed it too close to a tree. Uh, the tree was coming up actually right here next to this corner, and I couldn't get my little floor in, and I had to blueprint it and then move it over. Yeah, it was annoying. Alright, so we got one on each corner, but I think it's not enough just because it's quite a big area. So I'm going to put one. That's not quite in the middle, is it? Hmm. Well, I'm going to put one. Put, okay, come on. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> come on. Alright, get in the middle. But, no! These things are so finicky. Let's try it from this angle. There. Okay. Um, put one right there. And then... I think I'll just... Now yeah, that might be good enough. Or I'm... Hmm. I can't remember what I did before. Maybe I'll just do that. Then it will look like that side a little bit more. All right. And then um, depending on the terrain you have, like I couldn't get this lower than this. Um, in some places you can put it lower than that, depending on, uh, you know, where you are, what kind of terrain you have. And of course the ground slopes away right here. So I got to put small pillars underneath. Um, I originally built this in a different location. I moved it over here to test my blueprinting. And um, I didn't have to put these um, small ones down, the extensions down in the other location. But anyway, there you go, you guys. Oh, we need a door. And why is there not a room right there? You forgot to put one there. You guys probably noticed that and you're like, oh, you forgot one. <laughs> yeah, there. I wish you could put railings next to stairs. It's, it annoys me that they, that they had this huge gap. Anyway. Door. We need a door. Um, I think I had the little red door on this one again, but you can put whatever door you want. I personally like the little shack door because of the pop of the color. All right, there you guys, that is it. And now with this one, what's kind of cool is that you could actually plant a garden under here, a little one. But yeah, you could plant a garden under there. So that's cool. The um, building under here removes the grass, so it leaves it free for your, to easily see your crops. All right, there, that is my three fairly easy to move easy to build camps and i actually really like these i think i'm gonna use maybe this one this one out of the three was the easiest one to blueprint and move so just keep that in mind when you're uh, choosing these this one was the most difficult one to blueprint just because you can't blueprint the um the pillars but it was the easiest one to move if the pillars aren't attached. Now, oh, one more thing to note. When you put pillars on the corners like this, on the true corners, they will not select when you group select your um, your house. Uh, so like if you, um, here I'll show you. If you hold down A to blueprint and then LB to select the entire structure, it won't select Oh, oops, I just tabbed out of it on accident. It'll select the whole structure except the pillars on the corners. So, the, I'm thinking probably the reason for that is because they aren't snapped on. And so it's not counting it as part of the structure. So you have to, if you group select your building, then you have to come over here and manually select them. And that will apply to all of these buildings, whatever. If you use the corner 
uh, trick to put them on the true corners. Yeah, they're not technically snapped to your building, so it's not selecting them in the um, select all feature. So keep that in mind to make sure that you go and select them individually later on or you will blueprint them without the pillars <laughs> attached. All right, well, that's all. That's all, I think. This, I think I, yeah, I think I covered everything. Anyways, you guys, let me know. I'd like to know which is your favorite. Which is your favorite of these three builds? Yeah, I think I personally like this little house the best. And, and then I like this one next in order. Um, which is funny because in the order that I originally designed them, I designed this one first and then this one and then that one. So I actually like them in reverse order from when I designed them. Anyway, I would love to know which ones you guys like the best and which ones you might use. And if you uh, use them regularly and move them around, I think I might use this one as my, um, as my camp that I just sort of plop down between builds. I don't get to keep a permanent camp and uh, sometimes I just wish that I had a camp that I could move around easily. So I don't usually do that. I usually just build one and I leave it there until it's time to build another one. And I use it as my base. But um, I might do this instead. I like it. It looks cozy. You know what I mean? Actually, most of these, all of these looked actually kind of cozy. Especially with the lantern light. Anyways, you guys, enough rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, do so for more Fallout 76 uh, build videos like this one. And I also have a lot of Fallout 4 content as well. It's older content, but it's still, you know, really great. And I'm going to be having some more Fallout 4 content in the near future, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, you guys, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.